So we're here today making some teapots. Thought we'd bring in the cameras and talk about teapots. When I make teapots, I make three or four at once. I just prefer to do that that way. When you start making teapots, uh, depending on how many teapots you've made, make one or two teapots right from start to finish. Take your teapot home and use it, and then see if its weight is right. See if it dribbles down the front. See, anyway, see what you like, see what you don't like. Go make another teapot or two, take them home and use it. And after you've made a dozen teapots or so, you'll learn more about teapots than you'll learn making, than you'll learn watching this video, but watch the video anyway. So we're here today uh, making teapots. Uh, we've got our ball of clay. The wheel will go faster if I turn it on. And I'm gonna center this. This is about two pounds of clay or about a thousand grams. I don't usually measure my clay. I just go, it feels like a good teapot size. But people are wanting to know how big it is, so I'll tell you. So this is centered, the teapot we're going to, it's got a narrow base center. It's centered and I'm just going to open it. As I said before, there's lots of videos I have about centering and opening. And I'm going to throw a tall cylinder. And we're here today with Harvey, the studio dog. He's laying at my feet in the mud. I'm curious when the mud starts to fly, if Harvey's smart enough to get out of the flying mud. We'll see. So I'm gonna throw a tall cylinder. I'm going to keep it quite uh, closed at the top. I'm also going to leave quite a bit of weight at the top. I want enough weight up there or thickness up there so I can make a nice seat for the lid to sit in. Start shaping the cylinder, making sure its little bottom down there is tidy and the water is gone. Now I'm throwing, when I'm pulling up, my hands are not in line with each other. When I'm shaping, my fingers are working together. The pressures are directly across from each other. If I want the clay to go out, I'm going to uh, just push the clay out. Notice how I'm connected. My elbows are on my knees. I'm all uh, joined together. I will talk about that triangle of strength there. I pushed it out a little bit, I think a little bit more on the bottom here. Push it out, pull it up, and I'm going to start pushing it in. It's surprising how much clay is needed to make that go in. If you want it to go in, you have to have a lot of, leave a lot of room for the shoulder. And I have a tendency to make a smaller um, seat on top. You have to make sure it's big enough to get your tea bag in. This isn't completely level up here and I like it to be tidy. I'm going to cut it off. And you see there's quite a bit of clay there. This is a lot thicker here than it is down here. Just give it a bit more shoulder and shape. When I'm shaping the pot, I'm not looking at the pot so much but the negative space it looks, if you see the line this makes, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's got kind of a weak spot here and I want it to have a nice um, sort of distinct line, negative space line, and that's small enough for my lid to sit in. And I like a little bit of definition. And now I'm just going to bend that over my finger. As I bend it over my finger, you can see there's an obvious place to make the seat for the lid. And I'm going to just, sometimes I use my little finger, again connected. Little finger feels uh, weak. You can use your finger this way. You can use your fingers this way. I like to use my fingers because that way my pot fits me, if, if that makes any sense. So now I've got a nice definite edge for my lid to sit in. When I make a lid, I don't make one of those little tongue things or a, a piece that goes inside the teapot. I like to make this edge tall enough that any lid will sit down in there. When you turn it sideways, it's caught in here and it doesn't fall out. And teapot lids are personal. You can make them the way you like. But this is my teapot and my way and your teapot can be your teapot in your way. 
I'm going to give it some definition. Again, paying attention to a nice uh, strong line. And there's a nice, that's a nice little teapot. Now I want to make the lid. Uh, what I do, as I said, I make all my teapot bodies. And then I'll measure this lid. The last one I always measure its lid first. And these are the calipers I talk about all the time, the half a hanger. The ha hanger this way, hanger this way. Anyway, if you, you can see the hanger, half a hanger. I like them. There's no inside space or, or inside outside. It doesn't move when you set it. And they're very affordable. So there's my, um, my teapot. I'm just going to cut it off. And then I can talk about throwing the lid and the spout. Can go over there with this rest of the teapot, guys.